it's Sherry Ann and welcome back to my channel. I know I kind of look like a mess right now, but I just came home from work and I really wanted to film something so that I could have a video up for tomorrow since I haven't had one up I think in two weeks. So today I'm going to do the ride or die tag which is becoming so so popular here on YouTube right now and there's a lot. I wrote everything down on these on this uh, little notepad so that uh, I can remember everything. So let's get right into it. First things on this list, the first two things actually, are beauty items I just don't have. The first one is a face primer and the second one is a foundation. So since I don't use foundation or tinted moisturizer, BB cream, CC creams, anything like that, I don't really think I need a face primer. So I just don't have ride or die items for that. I really only wear lotion, like face, mo face moisturizer on my face, and that's about it. For my favorite face powder though, um, and I guess what I use to set my under eye concealer, it is the Laura Mercier Pressed Setting Powder. I know a bunch of people really, really love the loose version of this, but I just don't like having to deal with loose powders because I think it makes such a mess, and I like travel with this one pretty much anytime I go anywhere, so it is just, it is honestly just a pressed version of that loose powder. So it's translucent, doesn't have a color or anything. I really, really like this. I actually use the sponge that comes with the product itself just because I like it for um, setting my under eye. I think it works really well, but I do also use a brush sometimes. Kind of just depends on my mood. For concealer, I really had to think about this because I love concealer. I, I don't know why, I just love concealers. And I had to go with this one because when I when it really came down to it, I reach for this one the most. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I have it in the shade Sand. It's just so creamy and I guess liquidy. I guess that's the word I can use, liquidy, watery. It's just not so thick. <laughs> And I really like that because I feel like it just sets better underneath your eye and it won't crease or settle into any fine lines. And it's more of a, I'm gonna say a medium coverage concealer. I wouldn't really consider this too full co coverage since it's not so thick, but I really, really love this. I purchase this all the time. It is really comparable to the NARS Creamy Concealer, but a lot cheaper and I just think it is the best. I forgot to mention that everything I'm wearing in this video I'm actually wearing on my face today. I decided to, if I was going to film this video, that I might as well just use all the products since I'm talking about them and how much I love them. So for blush, I'm going to mention this even though it's discontinued. I do have two for this. But like I said, this one is discontinued, but I can't not mention it because it's supposed to be like the items that you just absolutely love and probably would repurchase over and over again. Unfortunately, you can't repurchase this one because NARS doesn't make it anymore, but it is from NARS. It is their NARS blush in Du Sur. This, to me, is the perfect, perfect, everyday, natural-looking blush. If I could find a color that is an exact match for this, I would love it and probably buy tons of it, but I can't. But since this is discontinued, I wanted to mention something else that I love. Not as much, but it's up there. And this is the one I'm actually wearing today. This is NARS Dolce Vita, which is a little pinker. So it will definitely give you more of a rosy flush on your cheeks. This is super, super pigmented. I think all NARS blushes are really, really pigmented. So if you do get this, or if you have this, or if you're planning on getting it, use a really light hand. I actually use a duo fiber brush with this and very lightly tap it on my cheeks and build up the color if I need to just because it's so so pigmented but I actually really really like this this one has more shimmer in it than Doucer but love them both for bronzer slash contour because I kind of use this for both it is also from NARS and this one as you will see is really well loved it is NARS Laguna I absolutely love this bronzer it's just so natural and so easy to reach for and use. I, I mean, look at this. I have a huge hole in this and I've had this for a really long time and I swear it is not going away anytime soon because I feel like I can never run out of this. I feel like this hole in the middle just pretty much stays the same, but I really love this. I use it 
every day. I have other bronzers in my collection, but I just always, always reach for this one. For highlight, this one was another no-brainer for me. I reach for this every single day. Like I said, I'm wearing it right now, and it is Becca Opal. This one is just the most perfect highlighter, at least for my skin tone. I think it's not too gold, but it's not so white. It's not so pink. It's kind of that... I don't want to say champagne because I know Becca has champagne pop, so it's not as like pinky gold as that one, but I don't know how to describe this. I just really, really love this. I don't know what I would do without it, and I feel like I'm never going to run out of it because I don't use that much highlighter every day, but yeah. For mascara, so the one that I really, really, really love, uh, they the company which is l'oreal hasn't made in years and i know that i mentioned Ducer earlier which has also been discontinued but i'm pretty sure l'oreal discontinued the telescopic and replaced it with the voluminous butterfly because i feel like the two of them give me the same effect and that's probably why i love voluminous butterfly and that entire butterfly range i use the waterproof version and I just love the original the best because I think on days when I don't want to wear a ton of makeup and even on days when I am wearing makeup, I think it just gives a really, really nice natural look to the eyes. So the next one is for favorite eye primer and I have the Tarte Clean Slate 360 Degree Creaseless 12 Hour Smoothing Eye Primer. That is one heck of a name. But I really like this mainly for the fact that Tarte is, I guess, one of the more all-natural brands. I guess that's what you can call them. Um, I just like the ingredients in their products. And so I felt like this one was safe to use on my eyes. And also this claims to be waterproof, which I honestly don't know about that because I don't, I mean, I take my makeup off, makeup off anytime I'm like going in the shower or washing my face. So I wouldn't really know, but I do really love this product. And then for eyeshadows, I don't know if it's really eyeshadows or an eyeshadow palette, but I don't have like just one favorite singular eyeshadow pan. So I'm going to mention my palette, not my palette, my favorite palette, and it is the Lorac Pro palette. Just the OG Lorac Pro. I love this. It is absolutely beautiful. Funny enough, I still have the uh, little, what is this, like cellophane on the mirror until it falls off, I'm going to keep it there. But I just love this palette so, so much. I like that you get a row, a whole row of matte, a whole row of shimmer shades, and it's just so easy to use and to pair the colors together. I just love this palette so, so much. I think it is the best. The eyeshadows are so creamy and buttery and pigmented. I can't talk about this enough. I recommend this to my friends all the time i tell everyone if you're gonna get a neutral palette an eyeshadow palette if you're looking for really great eyeshadows Lorac knows what they're doing for eyeliner this is a 2016 find for me but it has quickly replaced all other liquid liners that i have ever tried and it is the nyx matte liquid liner i guess they have two versions of this like a regular kind of glossy version i guess and then they have the matte version i prefer the matte version way way more i don't know what it is i don't know if it's necessarily like i like the look of the matte liner or if i just find this easier to work with i know this dries down a lot quicker maybe that's why i love it but it's just a brush tip applicator like this which i used to think was really hard to use these types of applicators but I have since found out that it's actually not really, I think it's a lot easier to use applicators like this. For false lashes, I have become such a false lashes girl and I'm saying that as I'm not wearing false lashes today, I'm actually just wearing the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. I just didn't have time this morning to put on lashes because I woke up super, super late for work. But if I do have to reach for lashes and the ones that I prefer to wear and think looks best on me and really on anyone, I think the shape of these lashes work on any eye. It is the Ardell Natural Demi Wispies. I think you can get Demi Wispies like Glamour and then the natural version. I prefer the natural version. 
it's just what I like. I tend to buy the multi-pack because you just get more of them. Obviously, it's a multi-pack. I love these. I do have to cut them down. I think I cut off like a whole cluster at the end just because it is a little bit long for my eye shape, eye size. But I still really, really love these. I would recommend these to everyone. They're super easy to apply. They're just the best. They look the best. Four eyebrows. I have naturally thick eyebrows. Um, I shape them myself. I've never gotten them waxed. I've gotten them tweezed once before at an Anastasia Beverly Hills salon in Nordstrom. I don't know if they have those anymore, but that's where I got them shaped once. And since then, I've just always done them myself. No threading, no waxing. I literally just tweeze. I tweeze like every two days just to make sure I don't have too many like stray hairs on my face. But when I'm filling them in, this one is my favorite just because I like the shape of the pencil tip itself. And it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. And it has more of that triangular shape to it. I just think that since I have naturally thicker brows that this works better for my eyebrow shape. I use it in the shade soft brown because I don't like my eyebrows to look so dark. I like for them to look natural and like I haven't filled them in too much. I feel like I used to get medium brown and now I have soft brown. I don't know. Now I'm thinking, did I get the wrong color when I purchased this? Moving on to lipsticks, I picked two because I have a favorite like natural everyday one and one that I wear more often during the fall that is like my everyday color. So for my more nude, neutral, natural, everyday color, this is the YSL Rouge Volupte Shine in number nine. I think these are called like the R Rouge Volupte Shine in oil lipsticks now. I don't know, they have a different name, same product. This is number nine, like I said, it's just a natural pinky shade that you can wear every day. It is glossy. It's what I'm wearing right now on my lips. It is glossy, so it's going to fade throughout the day whenever you eat or drink. So you do have to reapply it, which might annoy some people, but it doesn't really bother me so much. This product smells like mangoes and it smells amazing. It has never lost a scent. It is just as strong as it was the day that I bought it. And I just really love this. For the fall and winter, cold weather months, the lipstick, I don't know why I kind of started there, the lipstick that I reach for the most, it is actually Maybelline, I don't know remember what this is called, but it's one of their matte lipsticks, and this is in the shade Divine Wine. This is just exactly what the name says. It is a very wine burgundy color. I think this lipstick this is one of the most comfortable matte lipsticks you are ever going to find and it really lasts all day. I get the most compliments on my lipstick when I'm wearing this color. So for lip gloss, I don't wear it that often, but when I do, it's this one. This is my second or third tube of it and it is the Buxom, I think it's called the Buxom Full On Lip Polish and it is in the shade Samantha. It's just a shimmery nude perfect for every day whenever i don't want to wear lipstick i will pop this on and it goes with anything there's not a ton of color to this one because it is so nude but that's what i like about it for setting spray i'm actually running low on this a little bit and i definitely have to get more i'll probably get some more next week it is the urban decay chill makeup setting spray it says it's cooling and hydrating i have a really dry skin i have eczema Anything that says it's hydrating, I'm all about that. So, I just love this one the most. It feels, it does actually feel really cooling when you spray it on your skin. And I feel like it helps lock my makeup in place. I don't know if that's just because I believe it's going to do that. And so I think it does. Four perfumes. You know what I'm gonna do? Because I'm awful at describing what these scents are. I'm gonna look them up so that I can tell you. Okay, so the first perfume is, again, I just can't stop mentioning discontinued things. This is the third discontinued thing I've men I'm mentioning. But this is my all-time favorite. I mean, the second one I'm going to mention might replace it. I don't know yet. But this is 
well i guess when it was available and you could actually buy it this was my go-to i wish i had more bottles of this because i'm so sad that i might run out of this and it is the miss dior sherry eau de toilette and i'm going to read you the notes so that you all know what this sounds like it says here has notes of freesia lily of the valley jasmine orange blossom tuberose and vanilla and patchouli to me this is something that you would wear more either at night in the spring and the summer or that you would wear in the fall and winter more I tr i'm trying to save this because i don't want to run out of it because you can't get it anymore and it makes me so so sad. the one that has sort of kind of almost replaced that perfume is this big bottle it's the burberry my burberry another eau de toilette i prefer eau de toilettes as opposed to eau de parfums just because they're a little lighter and not so heavy and this one says that it smells like the notes here i'm getting this off sephora lemon flower sweet peas peony peach flower freesia damask rose and musk they both are kind of similar in the sense that i feel like you would either wear this at night in the spring and summer and definitely all throughout fall and winter i guess i just prefer the heavier muskier scents i don't know why i just really really love those i love the bottle of this i love the perfume i love the, the perfume the scent this bottle by the way does have my initials i don't know if you can see it my parents gave this to me for my um for christmas and so they had it engraved with my monogram so guys that's it those are all of my ride or die holy grail all-time favorite if i had to only choose these items for the rest of my life these would be it products i love all of them now you guys all know what i love and what i reach for the most in my makeup collection in my makeup drawers and yeah so i hope you guys like this video and i will see you next Thursday? Possibly on Monday? I don't know yet. I will see you next week with a new video. Bye guys!